Now, ladies and gentlemen, today's date, that being August 21st, 2023, is a very special one. It's actually CSGO's 11th birthday. It's pretty crazy to consider this game has made it this far along, let alone survived 11 years. For the most part, I think we have the community to thank for that. Without it, I don't think we would have made it. Most games nowadays that are AAA titles made with movie budgets or other esport games, the majority of those don't see more than two years in the shelf. In previous years for Counter-Strike's birthday, we got special chickens. When you shot a Zeus, confetti came out of it, and you maybe saw an Easter egg on the map or buy menu, or maybe menu in game. But today, marking the 11th birthday, many content creators, data miners, and players in the community think we could see something big for Counter-Strike 2, if that's in the coming week or later today. The talk of the town is an open beta or limited release, something along the line of that. The golden question is, are we ready for that? Is the game polished enough to actually ship out? Today's video, we're going to break down and discuss everything we know alongside a bunch more. Now, today's video sponsor is SkinSwap. SkinSwap is a premier trading slash buying and selling marketplace for your CSGO and Rust items. They have a trading feature with great rates and a variety of different skins. If you decide to deposit, you get an extra 40% top up bonus. You can also sell your skins for straight cash with multiple different cash out options of your choice. If you sign up today using the link in the description, you get a free case to open with a shot at winning 150 bucks. If interested, it'll be the top of the link in the description below. Now, very quickly, I want to break down the two most recent official updates from Valve because they've been pretty huge. The first thing to note is they're very consistent. They're coming out almost on a daily basis. We just got Italy added, then a day later, all the maps from the limited tests so far have been added, which makes many people think this game is ready to go. But I'd say more important than both of those is the shadow updates that got put into the game and that have been found through data mines that haven't been officially added, such as now the max round to win is now 13. The new ranking system, which is going to go by season, starts October 1st, which this makes people in the community think we're going to have an open beta now and get to play the full game when the actual season starts. A little bit of a warm up, you may say. With the new ranking system, it's also going to track ELO. It's going to give you a prediction on who's going to play the best and pretty much give you a percentage of what your win rate is and give you a decent outcome of who's going to win. Now, heading on over to Twitter, Counter-Strike actually just tweeted. They tweeted, it's your birthday. This has gotten many people in the community hyped, but for right now, it's just a tweet, nothing more, nothing less. Let's take a look at Gabe Follower. This is a guy who data mined Source 2, which then became Counter-Strike 2, for months, if not years before it actually released. He has a decent idea of what's going on. Let's hear his thoughts. He put out a tweet saying, expect nothing and you won't be disappointed. There's still a lot of work and polishing to be done. It might be in a few days, might be next month, but remember, number one, Counter-Strike 2 will be released tomorrow, and two, if it doesn't happen, read the first part again. <laughs> well, I couldn't really agree more. This has been something that I've mentioned a lot in my videos. With a game is ready, but it's not really. There's still a lot of small kinks that need to be fixed, but to play devil's advocate to that, if we had more people in a bigger limited test or more of an open beta, we would be able to find them a lot quicker and they would be polished a lot sooner, therefore making the release very possible to come out earlier than expected. And it'd be one hell of a birthday gift from Counter-Strike. If we go back to Counter-Strike 2's announcement, not too many people knew the exact date. We just had an estimate outcome of when it was going to be, and it was within a couple weeks. And it didn't just release, it came out with a limited test alongside three trailers, showcasing new parts of the game. Aquarius, another data miner that was on top of things with Gabe follower for CS2. He said you have 24 hours at Counter-Strike. This has gotten people really excited. I'm not sure if it's bait. Kind of feels like it is, but people are very, very excited. Now, something not a whole lot of people have mentioned is CS2 FPS benchmarks and how the game runs overall. Because if the game doesn't run great, people with lower average PCs are not going to have the best time. Thor CS on Twitter decided to benchmark the game with medium settings and different resolutions. And right now, the FPS ain't great. Now, a counter argument for this is CSGO really up until 2015 or 2016 didn't run the best either. Over time, obviously things got more optimized and ran a whole lot better. Now it's hard to really get a good idea with this because we don't know his specs, but most people are probably going to be playing on 1080p, which the average for medium settings is 212 FPS. And a lot of people have 240 Hertz monitors, which that's going to be a little weird. This is definitely a lot better than the beginning of the limited test, but you guys can also ask yourself the question, would you be able to run the game at a comfortable frame rate? Counter-Strike's not really the type of game where you can get 60 FPS and be happy. Most people have to get over 150 to feel decently satisfied. Now after going through the most recent updates, some data mines, and other content creators' thoughts, I myself right now, and I think you guys should be too, a little skeptical. Just because CSGO came out on this day 11 years ago doesn't really mean much. It would be awesome, and a lot of this is just copium with the fact that we haven't gotten any more players able to play the game. No announcement of a full release. They still have said summer of 2023. Right now, it's just big speculation. And if you've been around in the community for long enough, and you know Valve, they do their own thing and release things when they want. They don't really have anybody to hold them accountable for it, and I think they want to do the best job possible. I think at the very least, we're probably going to get something today. If that's an announcement, some sort of case, a pair of sale removal, and if you hop into CSGO at the moment, it looks post-apocalyptic. There's no news, everything's empty, it seems to be the game is ready to just shut down and move on to Counter-Strike 2. X Mercy CS made a really good point, I don't think we'll get CS2's release today, but more of an open beta or a lot of invites could be great to play. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are down below, I'm pretty excited to see what happens, but just like Gabe Follower said, expect nothing and you won't be disappointed. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, stay positive, sexy, I'm out guys, peace.